Hi, and welcome to Professor Nance's Accounting Academy. So today, we're gonna talk about Excel. Hello everyone. I am super excited to talk to you today about one of my favorite things, Excel, Microsoft Excel, which is like an accountant's best friend. So as you know, as accountants, we deal with so many numbers. Like, I mean, I've seen spreadsheets with like 10,000 rows on them before. I know it's like crazy. But the fun thing is there's so many shortcuts, there's so many ways to get around in Excel, and I am gonna show you some of my favorite tips today. All right, so as you can see, I have my little setup here, so I'm gonna be looking down and showing you step-by-step step as I'm talking you through it. So the first thing that you see right now, you see a little table with some of my fit make made up data, but I'm gonna actually switch back to what we call sheet one here sheets all the different sheets are just different tables that you can have so a lot of times depending on how you want to organize your information you can have one sheet you can have two sheets i have some spreadsheets that have like 20 sheets on them you can hide sheets unhide sheets you can see as much or as little information as you want so for right now, we're just gonna start with sheet one. If you double click where it says sheet one, you can rename the sheet. So we're gonna just call it Professor Nance. Professor Nance, Professor Nance, all right? Okay, so we just renamed that just so I can show you how to rename it. All right, so the very first thing typically that you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and you're gonna start in this first little cell that we call cell A1. All right, A1, it's just like the beginning. It's like, that's where we start. Um, so really quickly, you'll notice that there's quite a few tabs up here. We always start on the home tab. There's the insert tab, there's draw tab, page layout, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So today, the stuff that we're gonna talk about today is just the home tab. We're not gonna dig too deep into Excel, even though I would love to. We just don't have enough time for all of that, okay? So we're gonna start with the home tab. On the home tab up here on this toolbar that you see kind of going across the top, you have all of your font information. So you're probably used to this if you use Microsoft Word, you can change the way your stuff looks and like if I were to type out test and I wanna change it, then we can change it here. We can change it to whatever the um, other font is and my computer is thinking about it and thinking about it and then bam, it just decided to change it. All right, if we wanted to change the size, like we wanna fit things like that, you can do that here. The fun thing is with these up and down buttons, you can like easily like test it out. We can bold it, italicize it, underline it, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to hit control Z or command Z to undo what I just did. All right, the other thing that you can do up here is if you wanna change the color, and you wanna get a little fancy, and you wanna change the color of your cell, then you can do that here. I just want that to be like a little, like yellow there. And if I wanted to change my font color, then I could make that red text. All right, so it's like, oh, I'm screaming at you. It's bolded, it's red, it's, you know, it's like a lot going on. All right, so that's that. And then the other thing is, is in Excel, if you want to resize your column, you can just take and drag it there. When you see that little, like, icon that's like a little like two arrows with a, a line in the middle an arrow going up arrow go down that is the um, screen where you can um, resize things um, you can do the same thing with your columns because these are you know our rows go across are numbered and our columns go I'm sorry our rows go down up and down and our columns go across here like that all right so if we wanted to resize this if we typed in professor Nance goes to school I don't know why we decided to do that. Um, if you don't wanna have to like pull this out, this column out, then you can just make sure the icon is correct with our arrows up and down and then just double click it. And it'll automatically resize your columns to the correct length. The fun thing is, is if you go over here, it will like this little section up at the top, 
it will select the entire worksheet, which if you download something and it's a little funky, you don't wanna have to go through and resize all of those columns. So what you can do is come over here, hit this little box at the intersection of like A and one, and then just still do the same thing, double click, and it's gonna resize all of your columns. And it works the same for your rows. You can come over here, and double click down there and it's gonna, you saw how that did that? I'm just gonna undo that and redo it. You saw what happened there? It resized our rows for us. So that's a like little quick tip to resize like multiple things at once. All right, and so um, that's that. Then the other thing over here in this next box sitting beside our font changes is if we want, like if we, if this was our header and we wanted to make this really pretty, we could, um, change it to where it's in the middle of the row. Like it's, um, centered vertically and then also horizontally by horizontally, horizontally, no yeah horizontally and um so that we can make it prettier and then also if you wanted to spread it across multiple rows then you can click this little button here that has like the little merge across the center more merge across and blah 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 so all of these are things that i use on a very regular basis which is usually why they're on the home tab okay and then the only other thing is is when we get into numbers we will use some of these um format formatting right here. All right. So that is as far as we're going to go for the home menu for right now. All right. So now let's toggle back over here to my little sheet too, where I made up some information. All right. So I'm just going to zoom in for you all so that you can see, as you can see, I made up some really, you know, interesting information here for us to kind of go through. So, um, you'll notice that this is like some really ugly information, right? Like, I mean, it's just like me, you, him, her, them, us, but look at the numbers. Like we're in America, the United States. So our numbers are segmented by commas, right? And as you can see here, it's just random numbers in a row. The quickest way to fix this is to highlight either just the numbers you want, or I like to highlight the entire row because like, Let's just do it the fast way. All right. And then you click this little comma looking thing up here and see what happens. Oh, it automatically put it into our format that we like. So if you don't want to have these extra zeros out here, leave this column highlighted and you can play with your zeros by going one, you want more zeros or you want less zeros. So depending on which way you go with these arrows, then you can get more or less. All right, let's say that you are in a certain kind of business and you don't want your numbers to just look like this. You want them to look like dollar signs, American um, money. So you can click on this little dollar sign, the little arrow next to it. And um, we're, in, we're in the United States, so we would do the English dollar sign, but you can also change it to the, um, the Chinese dollar, the yen, and or the Euro um and whatever else all right so you have all the options are there okay and so the next thing that i want to do so i'm going to switch this back because that's all we need for right now is um we're going to do like some very basic formulas all right one of the main reasons that people like myself love excel is because like it makes things so much easier for us you can do so many formulas and i'm super excited i can't wait to show y'all all the formulas that we do we won't talk about them today because it's definitely you know it gets complicated but the thing is anytime that you want to do a formula you always have to start with an equal sign so the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to sum up all of these you me him her them us we're going to sum up this column so we have to start with an equal sign so from here we can then start to type in sum and you notice what happens right here is this box automatically comes up because excel is so smart and they like to help us out so they have some suggested functions that you may want to use some of them are based on what you use a lot the sum function is typically going to be something that you use a lot so you're going to sum all of this up so you put sum, and then you open the parentheses excel also likes to guide you alone along while you're doing these formulas it'll show you like okay so what you want to do is put the first number then the second number then blah 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 for the sum fu function you can literally just go 
and highlight all of the numbers that you want to include in this summary. All right. So then you, you're telling Excel, I want to sum, I want to add all the things that are between cells B2 and B7 together. And then you push enter and Excel gives you this really nice total. And we're just going to come over here to the other box and we're going to type out total. All right. And if you want to make that a little funky, remember we can um, make it bold. Um, and this underline, this border things from the accounting standpoint, we like this top and um, the top line and then the double bottom underline, very accounting like. But of course you can do whatever you want. Um, Excel is like art for somebody like me because it helps me recreate and just create documents in a way that are that makes it very user friendly to people who use these documents. So I love playing around with the different functions and the different um, settings in here, the borders, the shading, the um, different color fonts and things like that. Okay, and so the last thing that I want to talk to you about before we get out of here is sometimes you will download something and it has like a bunch of information in it that you don't need. All right, so let's say I have a phone number. This is my Nance Accounting Academy phone number. All right, let's say I have like a row, a bunch of these. Like I'm just gonna copy this down. Like I just have a bunch of these. All right, and for whatever reason, I'm about to transfer this information somewhere else and they don't want those dashes in there. They're like, oh, you can't do it with the dashes. Like we really need you to remove the dashes. So a lot of people, what they would do is literally go to each one come up here in the little uh, box and delete, <laughs> delete. That's gonna take forever, right? Imagine having a thousand rows of that information and it takes forever. We're not gonna do it that way, okay? So the way that we're gonna do it is you're gonna highlight all of the information that you need. In this case, is all of column C, so we're just gonna highlight column C. If you come up here to this last little section over here in editing, you're going to do, you probably can't see it. It's a little off my screen, but there's a little box that says find and select, and you're going to click on that and then go to find and then, or replace. You're going to go to replace. All right. Another way for this to happen is if you highlight your column, you can do control F or control, um, or command F if you have a Mac. All right. Nope, that didn't work on here. All right, so uh, I guess it works on a PC. I'm like a PC user who like plays around with Mac sometimes. But anyway, so we're just gonna go back to the um, menu. So we're gonna click editing. You can't see it, but I'm clicking on replace under, um, under editing. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find all of the dashes and it says replace with, and we're gonna say nothing. We're gonna leave it blank. We don't want we don't want spaces. We don't want anything. So we're gonna replace it with nothing. And we're gonna say replace all. And as you can see, Excel, they decided to put it in scientific format. Maybe it'll, yeah, if you open up your column, it'll get rid of that. But um, all of our phone numbers no longer have dashes. All right, so that's super helpful in a lot of ways. And the other thing is, is if I wanted to go back and redo this and we go back and do it one more time, find and replace. If we wanted to replace the dashes with a space, then we could do the same thing. We find all the dashes and then replace it with a space. So I just put a little space right there and we say replace all. I love this function in Excel. It's such like a no brainer but it's super helpful in so many ways. So I have literally replaced a lot of things just using this function. All right, I think that's it. That's the basics. That's what I wanted to show you today. Now, um, if you have questions, please, please, please leave them below. I would love to know what you want to know about Excel. I know like we're gonna talk about some VLOOKUPs, we're gonna talk about some sum functions, some if functions, um, averages, different things that are going to come up. But I'm also interested in what you currently use on a regular basis because that's going to help me help you. That's it, folks. So before we get out of here, let's go ahead and get in our dance. And then we're going to do our dance. It's the Excel dance.